Okay, so good morning to all of you. Hope you have uh, completed your exams. How was your exam? Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Nice. Ah, okay. So uh, we have uh, studied. Good morning, sir. Har mohi. Okay. Okay. So uh, we are going to study the next chapter. That is, sir. Uh, Planning. So we have already studied uh, the first three chapters, and uh, you can see that there are a few uh, you know, the new syllabus of this academic year has come. So our uh, uh, this year there are some changes in the uh, system or the syllabus that we are having. So you can uh, uh, search in the internet, uh, especially in the CBSE website, you will find that the entire uh, year is divided into two uh, semesters. Two parts like uh, section A, section B, like two parts are there. Part one, part B, like okay. Or we can say like term one, term two, okay. And uh, if uh, see here uh, earlier you had only one exam and uh, like your board exam was only one and uh, that was the most important one. But now you have like a half yearly exam also will be like term one exam also will be considered for your mark, okay. So there will be two exam. First will be the term one exam will be there. Uh, after that, uh, term two exam will be there. So such a way this uh, uh, system will be there in this year. And uh, more details about that you can search in the internet. You can search in the CBSE website. So and uh, I will be also informing you some more the details uh, as it is concerned. And we have to make a project also. So the project uh, for the entire year we have to make only one project. And the first part of that we will make it the uh, first term and the conclusion. Uh, portion we will do in the last term. Okay, so majority of the work will be completed in the first term itself, and uh, the remaining portion we will complete in the next term. So such a way this arrangement is made, and you will have a mark also for the project. Uh, see, like ten mark is for the project in the for the first term, and the ten mark for the project in the second term, like that. See, like uh, your uh, fifty mark will be given for the term one. And uh, in that 40 mark is of uh, written examination, and uh, most probably the written examination is of uh, MCQ type. Okay, all the 40 mark paper will be of MCQ. Okay, multiple choice questions. So multiple choice questions, when it is heard, you may consider that uh, these will be very much uh, interesting. So you know, see like only options are there, you have to just tick mark. You may be thinking like that, but it is a bit difficult. Okay, so you can find see like uh, the, the question CBSC will be giving. You might have seen like uh, this uh, entrance exams and all are there, or like uh, this is uh, uh, like uh, UPSC exams and all conducted, or entrance exam and all are conducted. All these exams are there of uh, like an OMR sheet, isn't you know? it? So in that multiple choice questions are there, but the questions will be in such a way. See, like there are four options, and all the four options you will find that all the four are right answers. Okay, means if you don't know exactly what is the right answer, you will not be able to write. So uh, such kind of uh, uh, answers will be there. So you will find it difficult. You will have a clear idea, better understanding about the topic. So you have to read more. Then only you will be able to uh, understand the things. Okay. So uh, more reading, more understanding is required. So if it's like if one word question is asked, so then uh, you have to clearly know the answer. Okay. And uh, it will be uh, so good. More details. We only if you got a few information about this one. This is the information as far as the CPSC is given. So if any further uh, changes are there, we will let you know it. And uh, uh, whether we will be having, see like the board will be, it is said that the board will be conducting the exam for the first time also. So more details we have not yet received. So we just got the few information. You can also uh, get updated in the CBSC website. So you will uh, get to know about more details in that. Okay. So these things you have to be uh, remember. And uh, see earlier we were uh, see like you are having like a part A and part B. It is divided, book is divided into two parts are there. And the first one is related to the management portion. And the second one is uh, like a financial management and or B, section B is there, financial management and marketing management and so on. All these are there. 
so we have uh, uh, this portion also see like section a as well as section b uh, one chapter from section b also is there in the syllabus so that also we will have to study anyhow the first three chapters which is uh, already we have studied that is there for the term one and uh, this chapter which we are going to study is uh, also there one more chapter is in this term planning so we will uh, uh, study that so planning we are very much familiar we have heard about the planning so anything we have to do we should do with a plan isn't it? so when we have to do something we should uh, uh, plan it and do it you know so whatever activities that we are performing should be uh, done after making a proper plan okay so we know planning is a very important thing and we have to study about uh, that planning is a basic function of management and uh, with it uh, starts the other functions of management so long uh, planning does not determine the objectives of and the methods of achieving those objectives the other functions like organizing staffing directing and controlling are meaningless okay so planning is the first thing that we have to do and if planning is not done properly or if planning is not done then the other functions cannot be uh, executed or cannot function okay so the planning is we can say that it is the basic or the most important the function okay so uh, we can study the planning concept meaning of planning planning forms that uh, part of management which lays down the objectives and the various activities to be done for the attainment of those objectives under this it is decided what is to be done how it is to be done when it is to be done and by whom it is to be done okay and a simple definition for planning is given there that the planning it refers to thinking beforehand okay so thinking before doing okay so you might have heard a proverb look before you leap have you heard look before you leap what is the meaning of leap any idea about what is the meaning of leap don't know it is to jump okay jump okay so before you jump you should look where you are going to jump and where you are going to land okay so simply don't jump okay if somebody tell you that you jump into the well and the well may be see like 1 meter depth only will be there so you can jump into that but if that is like a 10 meter depth is there and if you jump into that you will die is it not so you have to understand what is to be what is uh, what should be done okay so once uh, that an interviewer asked uh, uh, examiner uh, asked to the person regarding a question was asked so it is a question which is asked in the uh, one of the very uh, important exam was there so it that it was there we case study type of question was asked so imagine say like uh, you are supposed to follow the instructions given by the boss you know so if you imagine so he was uh, going participating in an interview and the interviewer asked him a question the question is that imagine that we are standing if, if you are on the 10th floor of a building and the manager of your company ask you to climb on the uh, window okay so you are standing on the window and looking down and the manager ask you to jump down will you jump down okay so if it is there i can, i am also asking you imagine that you are going for an interview or if you are working in a, in a company and uh, your manager is uh, telling you to climb up or uh, climb on the window and you are on the 10th floor of the building and you are looking down and standing there and your manager is telling you to jump down okay will you jump down or not yes sir yes sir yes sir sorry yes, inside sir. the building they will jump outside inside the building sir yes, okay i already told you i think this is one huh? sir maybe sir in last year ha uh, okay sir they will so, jump sir outside sir will die sir ha so it is there so like if the manager ask you to jump down he did not say that you have to jump out you can jump in jump backward is it not so jump down only he said you are standing on the window and you can jump inside the building only you climb from the uh, floor to the window and you can jump down backward so no so but you have to look where you are going to jump so if you are standing on the window and you are standing downside looking down there 
imagine sir if there is underground there is a swimming pool is there and it is full of water you may be able to jump into that also is it no so you have to look where you are going to jump is it no so first of all before we do anything we have to make a plan so regarding your studies okay so when you study so like so like now you are in 10th uh, 12th class and you this is the final year that you are going to study so you now itself you should make a proper plan you have to think and understand after 5 years i have already told you this one in the beginning i think so after 5 years or after 6 uh, uh, years what will be what you will be is you know so you have to make a decision what you will be after 5 years okay so now see like you are in 10th 12th class so you need a 3 years time to study complete your degree then uh, at least 2 years time for completing your pg okay so you may be going for a bba and after that you may be going for a ba then after that you may be going for a becoming the manager of a company okay this may be your plan so after 6 years what you will be doing that you have to plan now and if you don't plan now you will not reach anywhere is it not so now itself you should have a clear understanding regarding what you have to be in the future okay so this is about the planning okay so you should have a plan about your life if you have a plan about your life your life will go according to the plan and if you don't make a plan then life will go anywhere okay it will go just like the uh, that kite you know the kite is there so if you consider about kite so the kite is you know kite na padang you know it is flying on the sky it is flying any height as it is possible until and unless it has the control or if it has a thread if the small thread is connected to it and when you leave there is a person who is controlling the kite you know there is a connection there is a small thread a very thin thread it is you know but if it is connected and if it is in the hand of a person who is having a capability or a, having a control and it can go any amount of height is it not but once if the connection is getting disconnected okay if that thread is getting cut what happens it will go anywhere is it not it will come and uh, after that it will fall down is it not the kite you know the kite na not getting any response from you maybe because you are not having uh yes sir you are yes. do you know you are, do you understand the thing which i am telling you yes, sir sir. Okay. Yes, sir yes sir uh, okay. yes sir but so, not remote control ha huh. so whatever maybe i uh, just consider about like drone <laughs> so drone is there that you are flying a drone and if it is uh, going above and uh, it can go up to a height where it has a signal you know so there is a range maximum range is there so you have a control in your hand and uh, it has got a limit like uh, some are there it is like a 100 meter 200 meter like that it is the according to the uh, that camera or according to the uh, the drone it has got a control is there okay it has got a range and if it is go beyond that it will go it will fall down is it no so if you, and if the person who is controlling is not doing properly then also it will not go for so properly is it no so before you start doing any activity there should be a plan okay and it should be we have to think about what we have to do in the future okay so if it is a company so imagine that's like if there is a company if you imagine after 12th or after completing your degree you may be thinking that i want to start a business one of my student was here so he was one of my student he uh, when i joined in this school he my first batch student was there so he pardon aaj bahut din se wala the not clear okay leave it so uh, one of my student was there so he uh, started his uh, company uh, started his own business so his father was running a business and uh, now after that he uh, started running his own business recently i met him and he said that uh, he now running a business okay so he had a proper plan about what he so now he is like a supplying and producing of this uh, ground tiles you know that uh, this this one na uh, ground tiles so floor tiles and all are there so such type of products he is producing and supplying uh, and uh, such kind of a uh, uh, factory he is having 
and uh, under him there are around 20 employees working so such a way it is there so you must have a decision you must have a plan about what you are going to be in the future okay and before you start a company you should have a proper plan so what products see like if you are thinking about starting up a company you should also first you have to think what product you will be selling you know and how you will be selling what methods has to be used or so many decisions are there there are mainly four questions that we have to ask when we think about planning you know what to do first so the first question is sir what to do kya karna you know so first question is what to do so if i am thinking about uh, uh, doing any action so like imagine if i am standing on the as i have told you i am standing on the uh, 10th floor of this building and if my manager is telling you uh, to jump down so you have to think what to do whether to jump or not to jump yes or no second question that you have to deal is the <coughs> how to do kaise karna hai yes no first one kya karna hai second one kaise karna hai yes no so the second one is that how to do so you can do the different things in different ways yes no so the only difference between you and a failed person is the method of doing yes you no know? so if you are a successful if there is like if you consider about there are uh, millions of business people are there some of them have succeeded some of them have failed only the difference between the successful person and the failure person is the method of doing how to do they don't know they both of them did is yes you know okay so the difference between a successful person and a failed person is the way in which they are both of them are doing the things okay both persons wanted to do something and they wanted to do both of them wanted to be successful in their life but the difference was that uh, the first one or both of them did not know how to do the things is you know first one person he knew how to do it and the second one he did not know how to do is you know so the decision making so this is because of the planning okay the next one is the when to do kab karna hai is you know so the second the third question that we have to think is about the when to do okay so there is a proper time for doing anything is you know if you want to start a business there is a time okay so there is time, there is a, it is a, there is a poem about time like there is a time to do there is a time to sleep there is a time to get up like that there are so many things are said is you know, so i might have heard about the such a poem so there is a time for doing things and you should understand when you have to do it is you know so like there are so many business men business people are there you know see like why business people will be successful you will, it is there so see some business people are there they imagine it, just imagine if uh, consider about a share trading okay so you are having a share you purchased a share it is just a matter of time okay so if you purchase a share now and uh, if it is uh, increasing so you know see like if the share is going to increase just before that you purchased and when the share increased after that on that time you sold the share and soon after that the share value may go down so you will be able to make profit is it no so you know there are people those who are doing intraday trading in uh, uh, share marketing so their only thing that they have to concentrate is only about the time okay when to buy and when to sell only this differences in a day itself the share value may go up and in a day itself it may go down okay so imagine that if you buy share in the morning if the value of the share is starting on 200 rupees it will go to 230 rupees and they may cross it in 180 rupees okay today it's one day it's, there may be variation you so, know so sometimes that much variation may not be there sometimes the shares different shares are going up going down so many variations will be there but uh, it depends on the person who so when you invest when you purchase it and when you sell it that difference is the main thing or that is the main uh, that is part makes you uh, profit okay so if a share in, in the morning at the uh, 10 o'clock if the share value is 200 rupees okay at the 11 o'clock it increases to 50 at 12 o'clock it increases to uh, 
Okay. And uh, at one o'clock, it is uh, time to uh, do practice. And at two o'clock, it is then time to start the key. Okay. So imagine this, this much variation may not take place in one day itself. I am just, for example, I am telling you, if this much is there, so if this is the case, today morning, when you, if you purchase a share at this time, and you sell it at this time, then you may make a profit of 70 rupees in one share. Is it not? But if you purchase this share at this time, and if you sell it at this time, you may make a profit of 90 rupees. Do you understand? Is it clear to you? Are you getting it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, it is the matter of time when at 10 o'clock you decided to purchase a share at 200 rupees. So, and at 12 o'clock in 2 hours time, you sold this share. To 70 rupees, you get a 70 rupees profit. And if a person has purchased the share at 12 o'clock and is sold at 2 o'clock, he will face a loss of 90 rupees. You understand? So that is the matter of time. Okay. So regarding, say, like nowadays, this Olympics is going on. You might have heard about the Olympics, you know. So you know that you may be watching the Olympics also. So there are like athletics meet and all is there running and all. <laughs> Few seconds, you know, so just for one second, even less than one second, the uh, decisions are made or the first position, the medals are going. You know, so for uh, the person who has completed in the shortest time, will be getting the gold medal. So such a way it is there. So people, they lost their opportunities because of a short period of time. In a milliseconds, you know, even... Uh, uh, less than a second. So you don't have a time to take decision also, but in, within that time. So even it's like if you are playing badminton or different type of games are there. So you have to make decisions in a very uh, minute time, even less than one second time. You know, when you play badminton, so you see like if you are going to give a smash and you given the position of giving a smash and you turn the hand, you may twist your hand and uh, position to other side. It will be uh, confusing the other person. So your hand you are bringing this side and uh, uh, smash to the other side. So just uh, a small turn and uh, within a few second variation or a decision making. If a, a shuttle is coming, if you are playing badminton and if the shuttle is coming and you know that it is it is uh, going to fall on the line or outside. So if you make a decision or within few seconds, you have to make the decision. Yes, you know. So if you make a decision that it is going to be out and you leave it and it falls on the line, you lose a point. Yes, you know. So that much, uh, that is the accuracy of the uh, things are there. So when to do these things, that are uh, another important thing. Yes, you know. And by whom it is to be done. Okay. By whom. Okay. So that's the... Uh, uh, so, कौन करना है? You know, so this is the uh, final decision. क्या करना है? कैसे करना है? कब करना है? और कौन करना है? These many four questions are there. Okay, what to do, how to do, when to do, and who is to do it for decisions. Okay, so there may be different people, those who are expert in doing different kind of things. So you have to choose the best person to do the best job. So one person may be expert in doing one thing. Another person may be expert in another thing. So we have to find out the capability of the other person. See, like if you are a manager and under you, there are 20 employees working. So if you have to understand the capacities of all these 20 employees, what are their benefits? What capacities they are having? Which area they are qualified? Which area they are having disadvantage? That you have to understand. And you have to give the job to the person who is expert in doing particular task. Is it not? Then it will be successful. And if you don't do it, then uh, it will not become successful. Okay. So you give this job to a person who is expert in doing the job. Then he will do it in a best way and he will make you profit for the company. But if you give this job to another person who is not knowing anything about this one, and he will make fall in that and he will make loss in the company. Is it no? So if a person, a person in the right place will be 
the most appropriate one. But if a person at the wrong place will create huge loss. Okay, so he is an expert person. He is like if I am a very uh, nice person or if I am very expert in uh, doing anything. Okay, but it's like if, if one activity if I am supposed to do, I will be able to do it in a very nice manner. But if I am appointed or if I am asked to do a thing which I don't have any idea, man, see like if somebody asks me or if the teacher is asking me to teach uh, mathematics. Okay, so if I start teaching mathematics then uh, I may not be able to uh, complete a problem or I may not be able to solve it because I don't have much. Uh, see, like up to 10th class, I was studying mathematics, some basic mathematics knowledge and all I have. But uh, to teach mathematics, uh, efficiency is required. You know, talent is required. So that uh, uh, I don't have. So I cannot uh, uh, teach. Or if I am going to teach Hindi, okay, then uh, you can understand what will happen. Isn't it? So this is there. So if a person who is expert in a particular field has to be given that job. So or uh, someone see who is having some knowledge about that, so he will be there. Who is efficient in doing that things, that person will be given that particular task. So there are four basic things that we have to understand. That is uh, what to do, how to do, when to do, and uh, who is to do it. These four decisions are made in the planning. So this is about planning. Okay. Next, to decide about uh, all these aspects is called uh, planning. The problem about taking decision on these matters arise when there are more than one possible answers. Therefore, it can be said to be a process of choosing. <coughs> so, planning is required. Not here. <clears throat> what is okay, so the planning is required when there are different options. You know, there when we have only if we are having only one option, and uh, then there is no need of much planning. But when you have more or more choice, like you see, like you are studying uh, up to ninth class. If you are studying, if you are studying in ninth class and you are going to tenth class, there is no need of thinking whether uh, which subject you have to choose because there is no option. If you go to 10th class, all the subjects which you are studying in 9th class, same subjects are there. You have to study in 10th class also. Only for mathematics, like a basic mathematics or a, a standard is to be there that you have to make a decision. But after 10th class, you have to make a decision whether you have to join in a, a <clears throat> commerce, whether you have to join in PCM or PCB or whatever may be the line that you want to join. So, no, so there is an option there. Okay. And now, again, you are having a again option there. So you have to, whether you have to go for a BBA, BCom or a BFAM or a different, whatever, maybe the course that you are having, so that you can make a decision. So now it is again time for making decisions. So, so many options are there. So you have to understand each and every uh, options and which is the more suitable one, which is uh, getting more salary, which is having more uh, options, all these type of things you have to consider and after that you have to make a decision because it is, this is going to be the decision for your life. Okay, so that you have to make a, a proper thinking. So next we have to study is about the definitions of planning. So according to Kuhn's and Rodon, planning is deciding in advance what to do, how to do, when to do and who is to do it. Okay, so this is a very simple definition according to Kuhn's and Rodon, planning is uh, deciding in advance and not only at the time, deciding in advance. Deciding in advance what to do, how to do, when to do, and who is to do it. So this is planning. Okay. Deciding in advance what to do, how to do, uh, when to do, and uh, who is to do it. So these four decisions are there. <clears throat> and another uh, definition is there according to Heyman. Planning is deciding in advance what is to be done. So only what is given concentration there? Other two questions are not given considered there. And uh, another, according to uh, M. E. Harley, planning is deciding in advance what is to be done. It involves the selection of objectives, policies, procedures, and programs for uh, among alternatives. So there are so many alternatives are given that, and in that, which program, which uh, procedure, or which method has to be used. So the first uh, uh, definition is better one. And that is easy to study, and uh, is uh, quite lengthy, uh, quite 
good uh, definition is there. So you can study uh, these definitions. The above mentioned definitions tell us that uh, planning involves uh, choosing and its uh, chief objective is to anticipate the future course of events and uh, give it a desired direction. In reality, planning becomes necessary when there are many alternatives to choose. Okay, so when you consider about the definitions of uh, planning, we can understand that uh, there are so many decisions when there are so many alternatives are there, different options are there. And you have to evaluate each of these options and you have to choose the best one, which is more suitable. Okay, so we cannot say, we cannot decide which is the best one. See, like if you consider about regarding a course to choose. So if you ask me, like, uh, like now I am studying in 12th class, like which course should I choose? It depends on you, you know. So I cannot uh, make your decision because it is your life and uh, it is depending on you. See, like if you are taking BCom, so in BCom there are more concentration is on accountancy. So if you are very good in accountancy, you have to choose BCom. And if you are very weak in accountancy, better not to choose BCom. Okay. So I had to choose BCom, but. Uh, when I considered uh, for my for me, accountancy was a little difficult and uh, business studies is more better for me. So I chose BBA because BBA more concentration is given for business studies than accountancy. In accountancy also there, in uh, BCom also uh, business studies there, but more concentration is accountancy. But whereas when you go for BBA, more concentration is on business administration. That means business studies. Okay, and also the not only these two, there are so many other courses. Nowadays, there are so many new new courses are coming. So better you study a new course that will be better. You know, so but you have to understand. See, like when my brother was there, so when I was studying, there was nobody to tell me uh, which course to choose and so on. But when I was there about my brother, then he was about to choose, and he said that he took a course of a um, Bachelor of Tourism Studies (BTS). Okay. Bachelor of uh, Tourism Studies. But uh, earlier it was successful, but now because of this Corona, again, it went down. Okay, so he studied BTS, he completed his course, then after that he went for a master degree of that, that is MMH, Master of Management in Hospitality. One uh, course was there. It is almost like a MBA, but it is in the, uh, this one, like a management, uh, hospitality line, like hotels and uh, this type of thing. So soon after completing his degree, he got a job in a uh, multinational company that is a Radisson Blue. One company you might have heard. So, you know, so it is uh, one hotel is there in Gorakhpur, Radisson Blue. So he got a job there and he started working there. Okay. But uh, the problem is that now after the Corona came, so the Corona affected the tourism industry in the uh, most. Okay. So like uh, nowadays people are not traveling. Nobody is interested to go out. Now again in the UB and all the people started traveling, going out here and there, but uh, in Kerala and all people still, even now the Kerala number are there. Okay, so if you consider like uh, positive cases are there, corona problems are there. And uh, people now uh, having uh, so much of uh, fear is there. So that is why they are not interested to travel outside. So this industry is uh, affected much. Okay, but uh, afterwards we may think that it uh, will uh, come up. The, not only tourism industry, every industry has been affected, but uh, mostly this tourism industry was affected. So different options are there, different uh, uh, opportunities are there, so that we have to understand which is the best one we have to choose. Okay. So if you have any doubts regarding the topics that we have studied, you can ask now. Sir, how many chapter will come in term first, sir? That I will tell you means that uh, first of four, uh, there are uh, six chapters, I think. And uh, this uh, first three already, which we have studied, then planning and organizing is there. And the first chapter of the B section. Okay, so that will be there. I will make it confirm and tell you. Once again, I will go through it. And uh, uh, this one I will make. I Just when I searched, uh, this is the information I have got. You can also search. I will make it finalize and tell you. So in term one, most probably there are five, uh, six chapters are there, five chapters from uh, part one, that is uh, uh, first three chapters, which we have already studied and planning and organizing to organizing five chapters in section A and one chapter from section B. 
Okay. From 16 August, offline classes will start. There is a possibility. Again, see, uh, we have not yet received any uh, confirmation from the side of the CBSC board or from the government. But in the news, it is coming that uh, uh, from 16 onwards, the regular classes yes, can be started. So in that also, any final decision is not yet made. So when it is made, we will be informing it through uh, WhatsApp. So most probably it will be beginning, even if it is not on 16th, but uh, uh, maybe soon after that, we will be starting. Okay, and but uh, only 50% of the students are permitted, like last year, there will be like two shifts and all will be there. So what arrangements can be done, how it will be there, all these things we will be letting you off afterwards. Okay, so we can expect that there is a there will be a class. Sir, today Pushkar birthday, sir. Ah, okay. Happy birthday, Pushkar. Where is he? Pushkar is not there. Thank okay. you, sir. What sleeping? Okay. Yeah, in bed, sir. Sleeping, sir. Okay. So the remaining portion we will study in the next class. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.